Distribution Coordinator and I'm joined here today with my colleagues Meg Cotter who's our Trade and Industry Marketing Exec and Rachel Kiley who's our International Trade and Marketing Coordinator who some of you may already know so we'll have those guys on board a little bit later. So I just want to let you know before we start that we are recording this session as we're going to post this on our website in the next couple of days. I just want to ask that everyone can check that their microphones are on mute and that they've switched off their videos. And if you do experience any issues during the presentation, you might want to try using Chrome as that seems to work a little better with Teams. So we've launched this program so that there are some online resources available to you, in particular now while there is no face-to-face -face training taking place, we've had a really overwhelming response to the program, which we are really excited about. And we have booked a second webinar, which will take place at the same time next week. And um, the content will be the same, so there's no need to do this again. But if you know someone who has missed out, you can uh, let them know to register through our website. So basically how the program is going to work, every quarter we'll release a webinar or we'll have a webinar and we'll release two online training modules and we'll also have a newsletter. So you need to complete the webinar and the modules to be in to win some of our great prizes, which we'll discuss at the end of the presentation. And every quarter we will have um, prizes up for grabs. So the program will take about 45 minutes to complete each quarter. The webinar will be around about 20 minutes and the module should take you about 15 minutes to complete. Um, and we also want to use this program to hear from you. So we want to find out what information you need to sell the NT with confidence. Um, and while today is a little bit of an overview, we'll use any reoccurring questions to help guide us in what we present next quarter. We'll continue to add information to our trade website, which you should have gone through to register for the program. And we also have a lot of really excellent information on our consumer site, which might be, might be helpful for you. But feel free to reach out to us if you're having any issues understanding the NT or any of the products or the logistics. So thanks to you, thanks uh, to all of you who've already sent through questions. We're going to address these at the end of the session. And if you do have any questions during the webinar, if you want to send them through the chat box and we'll endeavour to answer them at the end too. So we just want to acknowledge that we know it's been a really tough year for you all and for the travel industry with COVID-19. The Northern Territory has been really fortunate in comparison to other states. Um, but at this point in time, the NT is open and there are mandatory um, quarantine restrictions in place if you were to travel from a hotspot. And on the coronavirus.nt.gov.a website, there's a map <clears throat> which identifies these current hotspots. So that's quite handy to take a look at. Um, Kakadu and Uluru National Parks are open. Um, but as you'll be aware, things are changing every day. So it's best to uh, check out one of these uh, websites, links that I have up here to give you a little bit more information. So to kick things off, um, for those of you who aren't too familiar with the NT, I want to show you why the Northern Territory is different in every sense. So this is Uluru, which is one of Australia's most recognised icons and one of our two, two dual World Heritage Sites for its natural and cultural values. This is Kakadu National Park, which is our other World Heritage listed site, and it's about two hours from Darwin. The NT has a fantastic range of Aboriginal cultural event, uh, experiences like this one at Kark in Kings Creek. The NT is well known for its sunrises and sunsets and a lot of tours take place during these times to capture them. The NT has an endless summer, so while the southern states shiver through winter, NT is experiencing 30 degree days at the moment and the Red Centre has about 300 days of sunshine every year. We also have some really unique product offerings such as the Catherine Outback Experience. Um, which we can see horse breaking and working dog presentations. Um, we have dot painting workshops where you get to take your artwork home with you. You can see the spectacular crop jump jumping tours on the Adelaide River. Uh, we have kangaroo rides at Uluru and Alice Springs, which are a great way to experience the sunrise or sunset. 
You can dine under the stars at Illaroo. We have a kangaroo sanctuary in Alice Springs, which is home to abandoned or injured kangaroos. The sanctuary was featured on the hit TV show Kangaroo Dundee, which you might be familiar with. And last but not least, one of our most unique product offerings is a visit to the Crocosaurus Cove in Darwin, where you can do the cage of death if you dare. The NT also has a really great range of events, so you might be familiar with some of these, and some have been postponed due to COVID-19, but we do look forward to them returning soon. So we have the Camel Cup in Alice Springs, which takes place in July. It consists of about eight camel races and then a grand final. The Taste of, uh, of Kakadu Festival, which includes pop-up degustation dinners, cooking demonstrations with traditional owners, sunset tasting cruises, just to name a few of what is on offer. The Darwin Street Art Festival takes place from May to September every year and they add about 15 murals to the city each year and this is currently taking place until September. The Henley on Todd Boat Race, this takes place on the Dry Todd River near Alice Springs. This year was the second time in the 59 years that it's been cancelled due to COVID. Um, the only other time it has been cancelled was when the river was actually in flood. Pajama is a fantastic light festival which takes place in Alice Springs and that celebrates the Aboriginal culture. And this is taking place in September. The Mindle Beach Markets, which take place every Sunday night from April until September, there's over 200 stalls of great food and beverages, along with local, local artisans selling their products. Uh, and there's the Darwin International Luxor Festival, which takes place in October and November. And Darwin, if you don't know, is really well known for its Asian cuisine. So this is just a snapshot of what there is on offer. Uh, but the best thing about these events is that nearly all of these are free. So they're a great option to mix up in your client's itinerary if they are going to experience some of the once in a lifetime experiences that they can do in the Northern Territory. So our, our major consumer campaign that we have in the market at the moment is the territory is the answer. So over the last few months, we've all been told to stay home and that we need to distance ourselves. And we now know that everyone is desperate for a holiday. So with this campaign, we're rolling out the welcome mat and we're reminding Aussies that the bucket list experiences that are synonymous with the territory are already in waiting. And right now, the territory is less crowded than it will ever be. So the campaign's being promoted through various outlets, print, digital, EDM, outdoor TVCs, and I did want to share some of the TVCs with you today, but um, you might be familiar with the fact that webinars and videos don't mix that well, but if you go to the Northern Territory YouTube channel, you can watch these, and they are really quite funny, and you'll probably be able to relate. Uh, if you tuned into the Tourism Australia webinar last week, you would have seen the latest statistics about what Australians are wanting to do right now. So apart from spending time with their friends and family, the NT has a huge range of offerings which are on this list. So road trips, uh, we have a great range of South Drive itineraries in the Northern Territory. The short drives, which are great for the fly drive market and long drives, which are great for the South Drive market as they all connect with either Western Australia, South Australia or Queensland. And we have a module which is online now, which goes into more details about these. So walking and hiking, we've got, um, there's a huge range of bush and nature walks in the Northern Territory, including the outdoor Aboriginal rock art galleries in Kakadu National Parks. And there's also multi-day walks such as the Jipbilla, um, trail near Catherine and the Larapinta Trail near Alice Springs. Um, for coastal experiences, we have a huge range of great boat cruises on offer, as well as fishing experiences and day trips to the Tiwi Islands. And nature and wildlife, well, most activities in the Northern Territory are based around nature and wildlife. Um, so this could include a, a guided walk around Uluru or a cruise through the Kakadu National Park. So there's heaps of options for this. Um, we've had a lot of questions about when is the best time to visit the NT. So the NT is open all year round. Um, however, due to the, um, during the tropical summer in the top end, some businesses will close, and that's mainly in the Kakadu National Park due to the inaccessibility when it's wet. The tropical summer lasts about six months from November to April, and during this time the weather is quite similar to Asia. So it's hot and it can be humid, and there are storms. 
um, but it's also when the waterfalls and wildlife really come alive. It's a great time to get a travel bargain, so it's a good option for those who are looking for a budget friendly option. The dry season on the top end is now, so from May to October, and the weather is around 30 degrees each day. So while the rest of the country copes with winter, the NT is enjoying its endless summer. The Red Centre weather is very much like the rest of Australia. It has full season and right now they're enjoying about 20 degrees each day, but it does get cool at night. During the summer it gets hot, um, up to around about 35 degrees, but it's a dry heat. Um, but there's lots of great swimming holes to have a refreshing dip. And it's also a great time for those who are looking to get a bargain. So we know that you might be finding that you're getting you're in tricky situations with customers who are frustrated um, with international borders being closed. So we want to show you how we can help. So when they come in and they say, look, it's winter and we're stuck here in Australia and I need some sun. Well, you can tell them about the Mindel Beach Casino Resort, which uh, features superior lagoon rooms which have direct access to the pool. Or if they want to go to Bali, they go every year and what are they going to do now? Well, they can come to Darwin because it's as close to Asia as they can get and the Pratt markets are renowned for the best luxe in the country. They're desperate for a holiday but they're on a budget. Well, the NT is packed with free activities and events, um, including a swim at the Catherine Hot Springs. They want to get some culture. Well, have they considered an Aboriginal cultural experience in the NT? We were supposed to go to Thailand this year. Well, Darwin's as close to Thailand as you can get right now. We wanted to explore the Amazon forest this year. Well, have they thought about exploring the NT? Or if they come in and they say, wouldn't an African safari, safari be great right now? Well, you can go on safari in the Kakadu National Park. I'd love to visit the Grand Canyon. Or have you thought about Kings Canyon? And we always visit the Pacific Islanders in winter. Or have you thought about the Tiwi Islands instead? I love the smells and culture of India. How about the smells and culture of Darwin? So maybe it is time to explore your own backyard, especially if it looks like this. So I just want to touch on our training program um, a little bit. We've got two modules which are online at the moment. If you haven't already seen them, they're on the website that you would have registered for the program through. They'll give you a deeper understanding into the territory and make it easier to help your clients. So the first module is an introduction to the NT. It talks about getting here and getting around the climate, the regions, including top facts and experiences and some accommodation options and festivals and events and our driving best driving routes in the NT. So I touched on these before. We talk about our six favourite short drives and our five favourite long drives. And that includes the Explorers Way, which um, takes you from South Australia through to Darwin. So once you complete the two modules in the webinar, you can go into the draw to win our fantastic prize. So it's worth about $5,000 and it's for two people and it includes flights for two from the near, your nearest Australian capital city, four nights accommodation at the sales in the desert um, hotel in Uluru with daily breakfast, a night at the Field of Light dining experience, which includes this amazing exhibition of 5, 000, uh, sorry, 50,000 lights. An Uluru and Katadruta scenic helicopter flight for two. An astro tour with Outback Sky Journeys. A sunrise tour of Katadruta. An Uluru sunset tour, which includes a barbecue dot painting workshop and a camel ride for two. So I'm sure you'll agree it's a pretty great prize. So please don't miss out. So this brings us to our Q&A. Um, we had a few questions come through. So thank you to everybody who sent those through. So one was about activities for over 55s in the Northern Territory. Um, so most operators will offer something in this age group, but a good starting point would be AAT Kings and Inspiring Journeys who um, do specialise in this area. And there's also the GAN, which is the beautiful train that runs through the Northern Territory. 
Um, overnight stays in the Tiwi Islands, we recommend the Tiwi Island Retreat, um, which is owned and operated by Matt Wright, and there's also the Clearwater Island Lodge, which is best known for its fishing tours. Um, walking trail options, so we mentioned the Jet Buller Trail, which is a 62k trail through the Nipmaluk National Park that takes five days and four nights. We have the Tabletop Track, which is a 39k walk through the Litchfield National Park, and that's a three to five day walk. And you can also complete sections of the Larapinta Trail. Um, one operator, the Australian Walking Holidays, also specialise in guided walking tours through the, National, uh, through the Northern Territory. Um, so for airport transfers, we would recommend for Darwin the Darwin City Airport Shuttle Service for Alice Springs, the Alice Springs Airport Shuttle Service and Uluru, the Uluru Resort Shuttle. And uh, in particular, we had one person that was interested in textile workshops. So uh, we have um, an ex exceptional art centres throughout the Northern Territory, including the Meripin Arts in the Daly River area. There's the Tiwi Design on the Tiwi, um, Tiwi Islands. And in, July, uh, in June every year, Alice Springs have a really cool festival called the Beanie Festival, um, which might be of interest. So I'm not sure if we've had any questions come through the chat box, but I will just um, check with Rachel and Meg. No questions. No. Uh, thanks very much. <laughs> no questions. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Um, as I said, we're going to put this on our website so you can have a listen again if you need to, or you can tell anyone that might have missed out that they can tune in next week. And all of our details um, regarding the program are on our website, and my details are here. So please feel free to get in touch if you have any questions. So thanks very much, everyone. See you later.